So this is the most impressive and only data recovery software that I have used that actually works. So the software we are talking about is called Eases Data Recovery. It is a free software that you can download from the description. And you can see the impressive rating of 4.8 on Trustpilot and how it fares against others. So this is the interface of the tool which is very minimal and easy to understand. We have the storage categories on the left side and all the storages and partitions at the front. So this is the external USB that I will be retrieving files from. It is a 16 GB USB drive and typically SD cards and pen drives are the most uh, common corrupted storage types. Here I have created a project folder and I have put two images and two videos. You can see the preview of those on the right side. Now I'm going to permanently delete it for demonstration. In, in your case, it may be corrupted or accidentally deleted. Now to make sure that the software doesn't simply uh, restore the files from the recycle bin, I will also empty the recycle bin. Uh, however, external files stored on the external drives, they cannot be recycled anyways. However, other similar data recovery software do use simply the recycle bin to restore files. Now coming to our Eases data recovery, I'm going to select the USB drive from the list or you can also browse through if you cannot see your drive. Now I will select the USB drive and click on scan for lost data. Now it has started scanning and you can see the progress in percentage below. Now the speed of scanning may depend upon your storage data. If I have a 16 GB USB, if you have 128 or further, if you have a hard drive, it may take much longer. Now you can see all of these files has been restored and uh, you can see the preview it exactly is the one that i have deleted recently and uh, it is common to have these duplicates in case of the data recovery but uh, all of these files are now retrieved successfully so that is really impressive another advantage is that we have is the, the built-in uh, image viewer and video player so you can simply play those files right now and see if they are corrupted or playable or not so that is also good you can directly play them and choose if you want to restore those files or not you can see these are the images and videos that I have deleted and they have all been restored successfully and these are all the files that I have uh, deleted so I'm going to stop the progress here so after you stop the process it will show you the summary of the files that has retrieved and uh, however you can just let it run to 100% to make sure it retrieves the files that you are looking for so these are all the files that uh, it has retrieved now uh, you can manually actually instead of restoring all you can manually select the images or videos or files that you want so you can just click on the tick icon and then select the file and then restore it which makes it quite easy so you do not uh, restore duplicates now make sure you retrieve it in the folder that it is recommending not in the same drive that you have rescued from so it does not corrupt or something so just rescue it in the C drive so this is the folder that it has created with the same name of the USB drive that I have made and you can simply just click on it and view the files you can see here so similarly you can also retrieve other files that in this case I will retrieve the, the video that I have rescued here are a lot of duplicates so you, can, you can select the one that you want and simply click on rescue or restore now similarly select the same drive that it has recommended and for larger files it's going to take some time in retrieving those files so just patiently uh, wait patiently now it is going to automatically open the folder and you can view those video files as well and it is running perfectly without any issues so that was quite impressive and it's the first time that uh, our data recovery software has successfully worked with a video or images. Most of them just corrupts or you can see a lot of green lines. Uh, now it has a lot of duplicates or so you can manually select it but it also has a lot of filters for time by size or you can hide the system files, cache files if it's showing a lot of those. Uh, so it is much easier for you to just uh, uh, restore those files that you actually want. So you can select videos, PDFs or photos and just select those and restore them. And apart from just USB and hard drives, you can also retrieve files from NAS storage. And NAS storage is the last defense that's safekeeping your data. So it's going to hurt a lot if you lose that data as well. 
and on top of that if your PC suddenly crashed or lost the data or you have the blue screen or stuff you can also re restore those data using the EZUS data recovery software so you'll find all the information about this amazing data recovery software in the description so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video